Welcome to Cooking Tips with Meals. Today we're going to be showing you how to cook a delicious steak at home. We were cooking up our red pepper steak in the kitchen, so we thought this is the perfect opportunity for this video. Now people are generally pretty off put by cooking steak at home, but in reality it's quite easy once you know a few tips and tricks. Now what you're going to need is your steak, well obviously, salt and pepper, cooking oil, garlic, butter, and thyme or rosemary. And optional is a thermometer to read the internal temperature of your steak. Now cooking times will vary depending on your cut of steak, like how thick it is, etc, etc. Today we're using our flat iron steaks, but if your steak is thicker, add more time while cooking, thinner, add less, etc. First, you want to take your steak out of the fridge and let it get to room temperature before cooking. Once your steak is at room temperature, season heavily with salt and pepper. Now you want to season heavily because you will lose about 30% of your seasoning while cooking. Now grab a pan. We recommend using a cast iron or a stainless steel pan, but you definitely want to avoid something like a non-stick. Grab your pan and put it on medium high heat. Once your pan slightly starts smoking, add your cooking oil. Wait until the oil starts shimmering in the pan and and lay the steak away from you. You want to constantly hear this sound for this part of cooking the steak. Cook for about a minute on one side, then flip it to reveal that delicious crust we just made. Cook on the other side for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then add your butter, garlic, and thyme. Once the butter is melted, you want to then baste your steak until you've reached your desired doneness. I'd say probably the most popular way to cook steak is to about a medium rare, that's how I personally like mine. But if you're looking for a nice medium rare, you want to cook until the internal temperature reaches 130 to 133 degrees Fahrenheit. And remember to constantly baste, this is where we're getting a lot of the delicious flavors from. Once you've reached your desired temperature, take it off and let it rest. This is very important. If you don't let a steak rest before cutting into it, you're losing a lot of the juices and flavors from the steak. After five minutes, slice it up and there you have it, your perfectly cooked steak. Now if you like this video and want to see more cooking tips like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Dave from Meals and we'll see you in the next video.